In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a power supply for these lithium ion battery chargers by using a computer power supply. So over here, I have a Tonergy, an IMAX, and a Hyper Ion lithium ion battery chargers. And all of these require 12 volt power supply and at least 7 amps. And recently, I just made this charger for the Tesla 2170 batteries and it requires 5 volts, 16 amp power supply. And usually for very high current power supply, you're going to need a separate power supply for each voltage, right? One for 12 volts and one for 5 volts. Especially the 5 volt power supply with 16 amp is very hard to find. However, you can have both 12 volt and 5 volt power supply in one and you probably have it in your house right now. And that is a power supply from an old computer. Let's take a look at the back of this power supply. You can see for the DC output, it can do up to 16 amps at 12 volts. For 5 volt, it can do up to 19 amps. So this power supply is perfect for this project. I actually made one of these power supply earlier. It has 5 volt. 12 volt and 3 volt output and this one is an Antec power supply maximum is 350 watts however this one is a little bit too big and too clumsy to carry around I want something smaller and easier to carry around and more efficient so that's why I want to make a power supply out of this one this power supply comes from a small form factor computer and it's much smaller and runs more efficient this one is about one-fifth the size of the Antec power supply. For this particular power supply, I salvaged from a Shadow XPC small form factor computer. Dale and HP also have their own version of small form factor computers. This particular one is a Vostro 200. This one is not really small form factor, but it's smaller than an average computer. Here's the power supply of the Vostro 200 and it's about twice the size as this one but it's still smaller much smaller than an average power supply so here is the specs of this power supply it can do 17 amps at 12 volt 18 amps at 5 volts maximum output is 250 watts however you have to be careful because not all Dell small form factor computers have 5 volt output a lot of them only have 12 volt output and without the 5 volt output. Alright, so let's go ahead and modify this power supply for charging lithium ion batteries. There are only 4 screws on this uh, power supply in order to remove the uh, outer case. The very first thing we're going to do is to find a way to power on this power supply because it's designed to plug in a computer. So if you just plug in power right here it will not turn on. All of the wires on this motherboard are color coded. The black wire is ground, yellow wire is positive 12 volts, red wire is positive 5 volts, and orange wire is positive 3.3 .3 volts. Over here we have the main 20 pin cable that you connect to the motherboard and it has a bundle of wires in which there is only one green wire and this green wire is where you connect to a switch so you can turn the power supply on and off and in order to turn on the motherboard you need to connect the green cable with any black cable so on the side of the green cable we have a black cable on the right side and another black cable on the left side so you can either connect these two cables together or these two cables together. It doesn't matter. And the power supply will turn on. So what I do is I made a paper clip and bend into a U shape. Now I can connect the green and the black wire together. Now if I just plug it in. Well, it turns out this power supply is dead. Plan B. I'm going to use a power supply from the Dell Vostro computer I showed you earlier. 
same as before I'm going to sort out the two pins from the green and the black wire with a paper clip now let's plug it in we got 12 volt output and the cooling fan is running so it's working great this cooling fan runs very quiet and here is the inside of the unit and let's take a look at this bundle of wires all of the wires are color coded uh, black is ground 12 volt is yellow with the exception of this brown wire these two brown wires are bundled with the yellow wire and down here is labeled 12 volts and the connector is this connector which is the 12 volt connector that goes to the motherboard so I'm a hundred percent sure that these two brown wires are 12 volts I don't know why they use brown color it should be yellow probably running out of yellow wire we also have other colors red and orange red is positive 5 volts as you can see in there and orange is positive 3.3 volts so what I'm going to do is to cut this bundle of wire and bundle all of the wires with the same color together and then I'm going to use my own wire to extend it out the maximum current here is 17 18 amps so I'm going to use size 12 wires size 12 wire can go up to 20 amps all right I think I'm done here I have bundled all of the wires with the same color together and they are soldered to my 12 gauge wire and they come out to my XD60 connectors for the black wire I divide it evenly between the yellow and the red and um, I've got a total of 14 strands of black wires in which I use 6 strands for yellow, 6 strands for the red and then only 2 strands for the orange and that's because the yellow and red wires provide more current in this case a 17 amp and 18 amps whereas the 3.3 volt which is the orange wire only provide 11 amps and also I don't use 3 volts a lot most of the time I'm just going to use the 12 and 5 volts and therefore I want the power to concentrate on the 12 and 5 volts instead I also made a main switch for the unit so it can turn on and off and you can see here one pin goes to the green wire for the uh, switch wire and one pin goes to the black wire which is this ground wire and down here I also made another switch for the cooling fan so that I can turn the fan on and off usually it's not necessary to make a switch for the cooling fan because you need the fan to cool down your unit but in this case I'm going to use this power supply a lot for my YouTube video and when the fan is running it makes quite a bit of background noise so I want to be able to turn it on and off uh, momentarily when I make the video and then I can turn it back on when my camera is not rolling now let's plug it in okay we can turn it on I'm pretty sure you can hear the fan running even though the fan is very quiet now let me turn on and off the fan so you can see the difference in the background noise now let's check on our output here see if everything is working We've got 12 volts 5 volts 3.3 volts all right let's put it to the test we've got eight tesla 270 cells here each will charge at 2 amps for a total of 16 amps and that will push the power supply to its top limit i'm going to amp meter here ready to go so let's turn this on and there we go 14.1 amps total not too bad so there you have it, how to make a multi-voltage high power power supply salvage from an old computer. And in this case, I got it for free. And that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.